In this part, we're gonna be creating basket component. It's the result and when you click on each product, it will be added to the basket like this. And if you click multiple times on a product, it will increase the number of items in the basket for the specified product. When you refresh the page, your items in the basket remains and it will be saved on the local storage of the browser. First of all, we need to create basket.js, which will be our basket component. Right click on the component, new file, basket.js and type rcc press tab to create basket class based basket component like this press ctrl s and inside app.js under the right side div add basket and press tab to auto import basket component from dot slash components slash basket we need to set two property for basket component the first one is cart items which will be items dot state dot cart items and the second one is removing item from basket we need to implement handle remove from cart which is handle remove cart. That's it. This is the usage of basket. Let's go for implementing a component. First of all, we need to set default value for cart items to empty array because at the very beginning, there is no item in the basket and inside the basket component in the render method, we fetch cart items from this.probes. To make the basket blue, we use alert, alert info class name. And inside that, first of all, we need to check the value of cart items length. If number of item zero, we show this message, basket is empty, else we put a dev and inside dev, we show you have number of item in the cart items products in the basket. Great, let's save app.js and basket.js and check the result. You see here, you see this message, the basket is empty. Handle add to cart accept two methods the first one is the event and the second one is product when user click on the add to cart button we need to add the product to the cart item so this dot set state we use the second form of set state which takes state as an argument and inside that we set the cart's item to the constant Cards item from state and set a flag product already in cart to false. For each item inside cart item, if item dot id equals to product dot id, so it's already in the cart and item.count will be increased by one. At the end of for loop, we check if product is not already in the cart. And if it's true, we need to add the product to the cart. Cart items dot push we use a spread operator for products and join it with count one. That's it. Here, to save the product in the local storage, we use local storage that set item and use JSON stringify for cart items. And at the end, return cart items. Let's check the result. 
here we click on add to cart and we see error which shows this dot set state is not a function because we need to bind add to cart in the constructor method like this bind let's check the result fail to execute set item on storage requires two parameter instead of one so here i set for local storage that set item save the cart item inside this key cart items that's it let's press you see you have one product in the basket two product three product and if we click multiple time you see only the number of different product will be in the counter let's list product inside basket.js here where we need to check cart item dot length and if it's bigger than zero and here we use a div to show products item in the cart here we use you an ordered list and inside that we use map function for cart item to convert cart item to jsx element each product in the cart item will be inside a list item and inside the list item i use b tag to bold the item the title and show a button to remove btn btn danger and it's x as a remove and inside this button i set the unclick method to this dot handle remove from cart which accept event and inside that event is first parameter and item is the second parameter let's check the result we implemented the basket like this and here next to item.title we need to show item.count so i put an x here which stands for multiply no, item.title by item.count great let's check the result when you click multiple times on a product you see number of items in the basket increase you see when you refresh the page the item in the basket removes so what we want to do is to fetch from local storage the saved product in the basket let's do that in the app.js in the app.js and in the component will mount we need to check local storage dot get items cart items and it if it exists we need to fetch the products from local storage so this dot set state cart items will be json dot parse because value in the local storage is a string and we need to convert the string to javascript object local storage that get item cart items Great. Let's check the result. And when you refresh the page, 
you see product exists in the basket. Let's implement the remove product from basket. In the basket.js, we delegate removing from cart to the probes of basket. So in the app.js, we need to implement handle remove from cart. Next to handle add to cart, we implement handle remove from cart. What we want to do in the handle remove from cart is looking for cart items array and remove the specified item in the item argument. So use this dot set state and state as argument. And there we check state dot cart items and here we use filter method for each element and if element dot id is not equal to item dot id we add it to the cart items which is a new array the easy job is to return cart items set local storage to the new cart items which excluded the removed product great let's check the result here let's remove handle remove from cart is not a function let's go back to the basket and inside here there is a type error and also we need to bind this for handle remove from cart and the handle remove from cart is ready let's remove item you see it works and basket is empty and if you click on items you see items on the basket at the end of this part we want to show the total prices of products so let's go back to basket.js and here next to cart item.count we put a equals sign and show item dot price multiply by item dot count and at the end of list we need to show total price of card here we use the reduce method of array for cart item and for accumulator and current item let's put these two in parentheses and here we return a plus c dot price multiply by c dot count and the default value for accumulator is zero and before that we show total like this let's check the result and you see let's use util.format currency to format the total value of basket util dot format currency and put the result inside this function so we need to import total we need to import so we need to import util 
from YouTube. Great. You see, it's formatted right now. And if we add product to the basket, you see the total here. That's it all we did for developing basket component which enable you to add item to the basket and also remove the basket at the end we just show a checkout button to continue the process button class name etn btm primary and on click will be alert checkout needs to implement and set the caption of button to checkout that's it we have checkout button great that's it for Let's put the checkout inside the condition because we don't like to check out empty basket. Put a BR line break. Oops, there is a type error in the cart items need to be cart items to apply removing item from local storage too. That's it. You see when you click and refresh the products will be removed